Namaste and crystal blessings to my earthly celestial and elemental soul tribe in this realm and beyond. Nikki is back by the creek to give a reading, beautiful divination by the creek, first week of October. And you can see a beautiful autumn <laughs> little wood by the creek. It's gone bald. <laughs> All the leaves are strong, you know on the ground and yeah you can see gaps now they're all uh yeah <laughs> shedding those beautiful leaves like the uh, saying goes uh, autumn is like the second spring you know every leaves are like flowers so indeed beautiful colors here my favorite time of the year definitely minus the chills so for the first week of October I'm going to um, take you back to this beautiful uh, vibration of uh, Australia the Northern Territory where you have this sacred Aeos Rock Uluru so um, I've been to Australia twice um, Sydney, Melbourne, and the last was Perth about eight years ago. But I wish I, w I visited this awesome place, awesome, awesome energy. But now with all this restriction, you know, we can only dream of traveling. But for those who are close by or in Australia itself, because there's some conference that's coming up uh, end of this year. So if you can join it in person, it's good. Otherwise, we have to just meditate and connect um, spiritually. And this beautiful Dreamtime reading cards are by Laura Bovin. Sorry, I need to sniffle buster. <laughs> and uh, she makes beautiful indigenous virginal art uh, with feathers that she finds uh, in nature. And um, and different feathers are used for different artwork, you know, to um, immerse in the uh, attributes of certain birds and uh, put out in her artwork as a message. So you must check out this beautiful, beautiful deck if you haven't got one. I know there's so many different Aboriginal arts. Uh, Australian indigenous artwork uh, oracle deck that's out there but this one really caught my eye it's really connected to me you know it's just not visual it is connection here so and uh, connect with the ancient spirit and nature of Australia and and we know that a lot of ancient places now are being reactivated um, in energy like Mount Shasta and so many other pyramids around the world, not only in Egypt, and sacred sites like Rosenbury and um, A.S. Rock. Magnificent vibration. So, let's tap into uh, a little ancient art and energy and of course we'll ask our beautiful crystal beings to be with us for this divination I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you and we call upon the great spirit our higher selves our guides the elements and elementals to be with us thank you As you can see, this is the back of the cards. Like I said, I've got four more decks that is uh, overdue <laughs> that need to be. Uh, well, this, there are reviews for all those other decks, but I would just love to uh, show and talk about that a little more. And um, so 
So let's see what this beautiful oracle deck tells us. I think there's a little, <laughs> it's kind of um, rainy, but in beautiful tiny drops, you know, it just feels like fairies <laughs> sitting on you. <laughs> so let me see if there is a drop there. Now that I don't have any leaves to shade me from tiny drops of rain. Yes. The card shouldn't get wet. There is a good card stock, but it's not totally laminated where it's, uh, you know, uh, can protect from water. Because this is similar uh, cardstock of um, Sacred Spirit cards that I have um, by Anna Stark. So the other day, yes, you know, <laughs> as I was shuffling, it flew and um, touched some wet leaves and, yeah, kind of warped. So be very gentle to the cards when you are doing outdoor readings, especially when it's not uh, totally... Uh, glossy laminated you know it is glossy but it's um, can take water so before it gets heavier it was quite rainy yesterday so I couldn't come by the creek which I could have done indoors but yeah me and the creek We got the fig tree for knowledge. It's tiny raindrops. If it gets too wet. Safely in the box. See what the fig tree tells us. Okay, fig tree knowledge. Okay, that's not, it's quite far away, but you can hear the noises. Man made vehicle. <laughs> I hope that person is not coming down this way. All right, can be some noise pollution. Samaritan Bay fig trees, or called Ficus macropilla, are grand evergreen trees that grow strong, deep roots, which hold up large white branches. The trees are native to the eastern coast of Australia and produce fruit which is enjoyed by many of the native animals in our little valley. Traditionally, the Marathon Bay fig tree was often planted on places of importance. Oh, <laughs> this little buck just flew <laughs> and got trapped. <laughs> Nature. So, if you see a large fig tree in the middle of nowhere, it may even signify an aboriginal camping place, a sacred space, or an area of knowledge and power. The fig tree is a symbol of life and knowledge. Trees are so important for manufacturing the air we breathe, and they do so by breathing in our waste. This symbiotic relationship reminds you that everything has a purpose. Okay, it's getting cloudier again. <laughs> 
The fig tree tends, uh, stands as a witness to the changing seasons and the landscape around it, while bearing its fruit and supporting the wildlife that depends on it. it it's a lesson, it's a simple one. Stand strong, let your bare feet dig into the earth while you hold your arms to the sky. Breathe deeply and know that you are connected to both the earth below you and the heavens above you. As above, so below. As within, so without. You are one with the world around you. Use this knowledge to form a deeper connection with the land on which you stand and understand that the further you allow yourself to branch out and share your knowledge, the more abundant the fruits of your efforts will be. So yes, it's like the tree of knowledge, as we know, deep-rooted down to Mother Earth and the leaves exposing to the heavens above. So part for today, knowledge. Okay, got some <laughs> raindrops. On this page, but I hope it's okay. It's just me and the creek. <laughs> I need to get to the creek, no matter what. So, put this back. So, wishing you all the highest vibration of love and a spirit filled week wherever you are. Remember that fear is false experience or false experiences appearing real. Go within, find your sacred space and connect to source, connect to Mother Earth, stay grounded and we get this. We have this as humanity is rising up in a phenomenal way, exponentially. So, wishing you all a magical week. Lots of blessings. Thank you for watching and journeying with me. Namaste. In La Love you all.